Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In preparation for the forthcoming 2024 November December GCE physics alternative to practical exam, I want us to practice this particular question to prepare you for alternative to practicals. Please remember to hit the like button and share this video to a loved one so that you can have idea on what alternative to practical is in, in physics. In fact, it's easier than the main practical. Let's take this example. This is the circuit diagram. This is how the circuit diagram will look like. This is for the battery. This is the key. This is the resistor. The volt meter. Then let's read the question quickly. The diagram above illustrates a connection of a battery. K. Okay resistance box and voltmeter in a circuit. The resistance box is set at different values of resistance, R, I, where I is equal to one, two, three, four, and five, and the corresponding values of voltage, V, I, are read and recorded. Okay. What are you expected to do? The first one, read and record RI and the corresponding VI. Evaluate R raised to power one, V raised to power one, and R raised to power one all over V raised to power one. Tablet your readings, plot a graph with R raised to power 1 over V raised to power 1 on the vertical axis and V raised to power 1 on the horizontal axis, starting both axes from the origin. Determine the slope X of the graph and the intercept C on the horizontal axis. State two precautions that is necessary to ensure accurate results when performing this experiment. Okay, this is the question. Then let's look at what is given. This diagram is for the resistance. And then the next diagram is for the voltmeter reading. So let's take our readings. Please watch this video to the end because we are going to plot graph and see the nature of the graph. And don't forget to turn the bell notifications because I will do more alternative to practicals after this particular one. This is on electricity. We are going to do more. Please turn the bell notification so that you always know when there is a new video in preparation for this exam. And don't forget that there were changes made in the GCE timetable. Please try and check the subjects that were shifted to another date. Okay, let's take our readings. This is the resistance box. Remember, this point shows one ohms. So the first reading will be one ohms, the second reading two ohms, the third reading three ohms, the fourth reading four ohms. That's the shaded part. You know, this is alternative to practicals. The fifth reading five ohms. So let's write one, two, three, four, five ohms. Remember how to write, it must be in, decim in two decimal, 1.00, 2.00, 3.00, 4.00, 
5.00. The units must be here in ohms. Okay, then let's go to take readings from the voltmeter. This is the voltmeter readings. And we are expected to read of V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. This is V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. From here to here is 0 0.5. And we have 10 in between, which means each is 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 for each interval. That means if we are starting from here, this one will be 1 point. 1.0 this one will be 1.05 the next one will be 1.10 the next one will be 1.15 the next one will be 1.20 as if you're counting after the whole number see if you're counting in 0 0.5 0 0.10 0.15 Point two zero point two five and so on. So let's get our V1. That's the reading here. The reading V1. Now, if this is 1.1, let me say I will leave one line and count it. Let me count here as 1.1. Leave one. The next one, one. This is 1.1. 1. 1. 1.2, 1.3, leave one line, 1.4, and the next one, 1. 1.5. So from there, we'll keep reading 1. 1.6, 1. 1.6, 1. 1.7, 1.8. 1. So this one is 1.9. Then we'll record for V1, 1.90. One point nine zero. Now let's read off for let's read off for V two. For V two, which is here, yeah, this is two. You leave one line two point one, two point one. The next one is two point two. It then means we have we can write it as two point one. Can write it as 2.10. Let's take the reading on the next one. That's the third one. 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. This is the one we are looking for. That's number three. This one is 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Okay, let's take it as, if, if we take in between, we can say 2.32, where we, I'll write it as 2.30. Then number four, that's this one. This was 2.3, 2.40, this one 2.40. That's the difference between alternative to practical and the real practical. This one values will be given you take your readings. Then the last one, which is here, is just 2.5. You see that it's easier than doing the connection and the practical. So we have our readings ready. Remember that from the question, we are to evaluate the inverse of R, inverse of V, then get V over one all over R over 1 over V raised to power minus 1. Then tabulate your readings. And we are asked to plot a graph of R raised to power minus 1 over V on the vertical axis against V raised to power minus 1. So let's complete our table of values. This is how our readings will look like. Please, if you have watched this video to this point, before we plot the graph, 
to know the nature of the graph please give this video a thumbs up just like this video drop a comment i'm saying thank you for watching to this point then you can in response just drop a comment thank you thank you so i can keep doing more so let's go straight into drawing remember to put the axis and label it to power minus one always put the units then this is r raised to power minus one over b raised to power then put the units that's volt per ohms then on this because of the nature of the readings for the volt meter parts remember we are plotting on the horizontal as is the inverse of v the inverse of v that's this reading is 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.3 so for the v as is we can use 2 cm remember to put your scale we can use 2 cm to be equal to here is 0 to be equal to 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 then on this one we have 0 0.5 to 1.8 so we can use 0 0.2 on each 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 1.0 1.2 1.4 1.6 1 1.8 and then 2.0 so on this axis i use 2 cm to be equal to 0 0.2 and on this axis the horizontal axis i use 2 cm to be equal to 0 0.1 so let's plot the graph This is 0 0.53 when this is 1.89 this is 1.8 2.46 2.46 2.46 Zero point four eight. This is one.
this is the nature of the graph let's pick the line of best fit let's pick the line of best fit This is our graph and remember the question said we should find the slope of the graph and the intercept on the horizontal axis which means your graph is expected to cut the horizontal axis, the intercept. I'm making it bigger so that I'll be able to point it out. The intercept on this axis is this, you take the reading. Then in finding your slope, remember the bigger the triangle, the more accurate the graph. We can decide to pick this to get the triangle. And then remember what to do. Take this minus this all over this minus this. Get the readings from here and here and then find your slope. I don't want the video to be too long. Thank you for watching to this point. Please remember to like, subscribe, and turn the bell notification for more videos. Success in your exams. Please share this video to someone writing this exam as well. Tell someone about this channel for physics and mathematics. Thank you.